many of you may be preparing that special healthy breakfast meal, but this morning we're sharing with you a special way to make that quick anytime meal that is widely loved. Here's Lloyd Allen. <laughs> This morning we're here at Gumay House and I'm speaking with QTEL who's talking to us a lot about an exciting program that they have going on here. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm good. So I understand that last summer you started a kids program and how successful was that? So we got a lot of requests during the summer program actually where we had to turn down a few persons and we decided to offer it again in the Christmas and it was successful once again. So this year we're offering a an after-school program um, where kids are able to come here three days out of the week to learn how to make various dishes, um, culinary skills, and um, have a good time. So joining us in the kitchen today is Chef Matea, who has a crew helping her to make something awesome today. Tell us about what's happening today. Okay, so today we're making breakfast pizza. I'm my chef today. I'm not the chef. I'm just here to guide them. It's Juliana, Keyshawn, Creshawn, Malia, and Kalen. All right, guys, let's get sanitized first, and then we're going to put on our aprons, okay? Remember, everything is teamwork. We're going to make teamwork. We're going to make one big batch, and then we're going to decorate our pizza. We like it. Oh, yeah. And then we get to eat, okay? So, Chef Matea, as these uh, young chefs are getting on, uh, is it uh, difficult or easy to work with kids? That depends on the child. They listen. If they don't listen, then it's very difficult. Right now, they're just making our egg mixture. Juliana is whisking the eggs, and I have Keyshawn seasoning it with some salt and pepper. So she's going to slowly cook the eggs until a light, almost wet scramble, because it's going in the oven. So finish cooking in the oven. So for this part, we're just going to saute our ham and our sausage. OK? It's going to the two tongs to cook with. All of that. So I'm going to have you mash the cream cheese down and add the onions that Callan has diced into it, OK? OK, so keep mashing that down until it all incorporates into our spread. We're going to start off with our cream cheese. You're going to get a little spinach, mozzarella cheese. I'm going to grab some of our lovely scrambled egg that Juliana did. Grab some sausage. So as we've been progressing now, I noticed that one of your chefs uh, is a little um, picky when it comes to the cheese. So what do you do with uh, some of your chefs when they don't particularly like something? We let them cook what they want to cook. And then when they see the other kids eating it, they come back and say, I want to try. Exactly. And that's our pizza. We're going to put it in okay? 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Just until the cheese is melted. And then you guys can eat. How was the experience so far? Um, they've been a good bunch so far. We had a little picky eater that's always in every class we have. I don't eat this, I don't eat that. Sometimes they don't know what they're eating. So I would encourage parents to actually take their, their children out so they could get a better palate. So instead of just eating nuggets and fries. So Colin saying this is not his first time in the kitchen. Tell me, what did you put in your masterpiece today? Actually, I put cheese sausage and ham. Out of all of those ingredients, which one is your favorite? Ham. Once the finished product made its way out of the oven and on the table tops, these youngsters were finally able to see what a little effort in the kitchen can create. Breakfast is served. For the morning edition, Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.